James Lennis. Welcome to the tasting table. These wines are next. From the producer Lapone. One is called Lapone L'Incluso. It's a Merlot, and the other is an Umbria Rosso wine. I'll give my thoughts, perspectives, and points quote on these two red wine varieties from Lapone. Stay tuned. So I have some videos right up here already of Lapone. One is of the white wines. Uh, it's a Chardonnay, Verdicchio, and Pinot Grigio, as well as the Orvieto uh, Classico Superiore, which is a DOC wine. And so these two wines are next. It's just easier to uh, do these reviews in, in this way, to have like wines or maybe just similar colored wines and to describe the experiences on these as opposed to one big giant long video. So first I want to talk about this wine here. This is the Lapone. This is the Umbria Rosso wine. This is an IGT wine and this is a 2020 vintage back label for you to look at here. It's a lovely wine and um, you know different silhouette. So this is a combination of 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, 50% Merlot. Total production is 3,000 bottles, 13.5% ABV. And so the site is going to be about 320 meters above sea level, and that's about 1,050 fazal feet above sea level. The soil is volcanic and clay. So the harvest period for the Merlot, I believe, is in late September, and also I believe that to be for mid-October for the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a manual harvest. So the fermentation on the wine is maceration with skins, which takes place in open vats, manual punch downs, and refining 225 French oak barrels for two months. So this wine, and I'm gonna just point out right away, I believe this is also, and the reason I say I believe that this is a also a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Merlot wine, is that's what it's showing on the tech sheet. Now the bottle itself says Merlot, so what I believe the distinctions here are several. One is that this is a dominant Merlot wine with a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. This is an equal partnership. This is a little more select fruit. Uh, as it relates to the same site where the fruit is coming from. And so that's where you get two different bottlings and why they do that. Here we go, I'll give you some notes on this wine first of all. So the notes are red and black fruit notes, herb garden. Uh, I would say suede notes as well, which I very much enjoy, kind of that outdoorsy note, fresh uh, violets as well. Next is the palate characterization. So um, the palate is expressive of red bramble, red cherry, uh, freshly ground spices and red floral notes. This is 92 points out of 100 points. Label, so La Pony L'Incluso Umbria IGT Merlot 2020. The uh, vineyard site is planted in 2007 with an aspect ratio of east to west. And the altitude is 320 mazel, which is meters above sea level, which is 1,050 fazel, which is feet above sea level. The soil is volcanic and clay. The harvest period is between September for the Merlot and mid-October for the Cabernet Sauvignon. Harvest method is manual and vinification is grapes are cryomacerated for 24 hours at 10 degrees centigrade, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's an alcoholic fermentation in steel with skins for maceration in 22 to 24 days. Malactic fermentation is completed and carried out in a 225 liter oak barrel. Refining is also a minimum of 12 months in 225 liter oak barrels and additional time in, in bottle. And uh, so let's talk about this wine in terms of uh, what's being presented for nose and palate. So the notes here are fantastic. Black fruit, black cherry, black bramble, uh, as well as a bit of uh, Morello cherry notes, uh, forest floor, fresh uh, red floral notes, a bit of sanded cedar, and spice notes. And next is the palate characterization. So on this wine, on the palate, I'm getting notes of blackberry, cassis, a uh, hint of uh, dried herbs, white pepper, clove, and dried red floral. It's a beautiful wine. This is a 93 point wine out of 100 points. So when you're in Umbria, in Orvieto, check out these wines. Go to your Alimentari if you're staying in the city. Go to a grocery store, you'll find these wines. Go you know, to a restaurant, ask for these wines by name because I think they're delicious. They're inexpensive, high quality wines showing an expression of Umbria one of my favorite regions in Italia and always just an, an evocative place to visit. And the Orvieto, the Domo di Orvieto, the cathedral is fantastic to visit as well. And all the sites in uh, Orvieto and surrounding areas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video review. And uh, you know, let's stay connected. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. So be sure to share this video with someone interested in Umbrian wines. Again, thank you for your support. I'll see you soon. Salute.